Welcome to another episode of our figure review series. Today we're going to be reviewing Maleficent. So let's take a look. Maleficent is a pretty good utility figure. She can do both melee and ranged and her special attack is pretty decent. Her only downfall I'd say is the fact that her movement mode has to be purchased. Before we go into her specific combat maneuvers, let's take a look at her skill tree. Here's her skill tree. It's set up into four quadrants like every other figure. As you can see, we pretty much filled up her ranged and her special, adding a little bit on the melee and in the health side. Let's take a look at the ranged side first. The very first thing we unlocked was midair recovery. It's probably one of the most important things you can unlock on any figure as it allows you to recover if you're knocked down. After that on top is her movement mode and another special power of hers. Her movement mode is flight. Until you unlock this she cannot fly and she does not super jump. So you really need to unlock this if you want to use her in any way. The other thing she unlocks is her healing power. This, by pressing on the PlayStation, the L button, allows you to heal her and anyone around her, which can be really helpful if you don't have any green sparks. After that, you have all of the, the ranged upgrades, the ranged attack, and the charged ranged attack. For her, it's called the Volley of Vengeance, and what it does, and you'll see later, just adds a number of targets or a number of projectiles that it, it throws out at people. Down is where her special move and, and its upgrades are. Her special move is called Diavol's Drive. Maleficent summons her raven, Diavol, to attack nearby enemies. It's really pretty. It, it does some decent damage once you've upgraded it. I, I really like it. And then, of course, your special move meter upgrades and the power upgrades, which deal uh, have it deal more damage. The other things that they have here are for power disc recharges and having the meter fill up faster but I've never seen a need for that to be unlocked like ever. On the melee side all I unlocked was the one damage increase. Uh, there's other stuff in here. Oh and street spike because I had an extra point. A lot of this other stuff here doesn't really need to be unlocked unless you really prefer to use her melee instead of her ranged but that's where I would take away from is her ranged not the special or the healing. There is one other power that could be unlocked. I didn't. And that's Thorny Situation. Uh, it creates a wall of thorns that breaks the opponent's block. The charged range attack breaks the opponent's block also. And it can break multiple opponent's blocks. So I, I find that's a better unlock than the melee block. And last, we uh, unlock as many of her health boosts as we can. To do that, we also have to unlock Fairy Agility which increases her running speed but I've never really noticed that big of a difference when we do that and then the three health boosts and that's pretty much all of her points spent alright now let's take a look at some of the things she can do uh, when you unlock her flight she gets a nice pretty set of wings it's a nice movement mode I like it better than I do double jump it allows you to do things like shoot from a distance uh, which is great for dodging ranged attack the other thing she can do is heal and that's what it looks like she right now doesn't have any damage but like I said when you're surrounded by bad guys don't have any green in sight the ability to run away and heal is not that bad so let's go take a look at what she does to normal targets So let's take a look at what she does against normal mobs. We're going to go ahead and summon a whole bunch of ice trolls, the small ones. Now first let's take a look at her melee. Let's let a bunch of them come around. She has a really nice combo. You just want to make sure that you have the ability to actually do the combo. One hit will stop the combo altogether. But you don't have to actually land to have the combo go off. As long as you continually hit the melee button, that combo will happen. 
and it did all that damage without unlocking anything. The only thing we did was unlock one damage bonus for melee. And there is it going off without actually hitting anything. Uh, it's a really nice combo. For some of the uh, larger but not boss monsters, it'll actually raise them up into the air, uh, allowing you to shoot them or hit them without them able to touch you, really. Uh, the next thing to look at is her ranged attacks. Uh, her regular ranged attack just shoots out two uh, projectiles, hits the guy in front of you, normal stuff. Her charge, on the other hand, shoots out five or six, and they'll go out and hit multiple targets, not just one ahead of you, which is nice. It's not quite as powerful as a combo, but if you're surrounded to the point that you're not going to be able to get the combo off, it's not too bad. And then to take a look at her special, it says it's pretty, it does a lot of damage, it'll clear an area pretty quickly. One of the better ones in the game, I think. Not quite as good as Thor's, but still pretty good. Let's go ahead and finish these off, and then we'll go take a look at how she fares against boss monsters. All right, oop, get my stuff. All right, let's take a look at how she fares against boss monsters. Make a few pop up. Now she's not as powerful as some of the other figures that I've played with. She really is more about uh, dealing with multiple creatures at once. Uh, it, as you've seen in, in other review videos, the charge ranged usually will do enough damage to kill a boss monster after two or three tries. Uh, hers does not. But her special will deal quite a bit of damage. And if you can get it off... Ah! And it didn't... There's, there's the problem with her, her combo. Is if she gets hit, it... it, it starts your combo all over and when it comes to boss monsters you're gonna get hit but her being a flyer you can very easily avoid a lot of what makes the boss monsters pretty devastating and we can show off some healing while we're here it heals pretty quick anyone around her in that green mist would be getting healed also and that can be really helpful if you didn't get a lot of green sparks. Well, that's it for Maleficent. Like I said, she's a really good utility figure. She's really great against large numbers of small mobs. And she's not that bad against the larger boss mobs either. I really like her special. I just wish you didn't have to unlock her flight mode. If you learned something new today, don't forget to give the video a like. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll answer them as soon as I can.